Hello, my name is John Tennant, and in this video I'm going to show you how I hooked up the new synesthesia features with uh, Audio Kinetic Wise. I'm using the loudness NRT files to trigger the lightning effect with the thunder. Because I always hated how, when I'm working on games with storms, how the lightning and the thunder wouldn't really line up most of the time. You kind of get flashes of lightning and then the thunder would happen. It kind of wouldn't line up. Now before I go any further with this, I should say that I'm assuming you know how to hook up this sort of thing with the native Unreal Engine already. And so I'm just going to show you how I adapted it for WISE. So here's what I did. So you can see here I've got the Synesthesia uh, NRT files. So I generated those NRT files the same way that I would have generated them if I was using the Unreal Native Audio Engine to do this. So you have to bring the waves into the Unreal project to generate those files before doing this with WISE and getting WISE to reference these files instead. And they correspond to a struct table which corresponds to a bunch of wise IDs which you can see here those wise IDs are the short media IDs that can be grabbed from the XML tables in the wise project work units so this is my wise event and I've got a callback event here and I'm splitting the callback info here. A lot of this is just debug. And what I'm using is the audio node ID, and I'm calling it the wise media ID, even though that's somewhat inaccurate, but those two values are what correspond. The audio node ID, wise media ID, wise media ID. That's the number you want. And then that gets broken into, that goes to that table that I referred to earlier, this one here. And it looks up the row name by the media ID number. The row name is the media ID number. And then that corresponds to the NRT loudness file. And then from there, I'm going over here to the, I'm just running a timeline. And that timeline I'm using to look up the correct time in the NRT file, which you can see in the implementation example that Dan Reynolds posted in the stream. So all of this gobbledygook over here is just the thresholds that I get to get the lightning to work properly. There's two, there's two thresholds, one bigger, one smaller, and this is just how I get the lightning to flash and only flash once and then turn off again. Uh, it's the flickering logic. But it's not really important. Um, what's really important is this stuff here. This is kind of the meat of it. And so let's take a listen to how it sounds. So that one's triggering with Y's. So you can see the lightning is being driven by the loudness in the file. And uh, yeah, it works pretty good. And this one's triggered with the Unreal native audio engine. 